yes guys welcome again to our youtube channel if you are new guys consider subscribing so that you can be learning day by day today just being free to metembea let me just tell you about the vaccination this issue of vaccination guys i can assure you in sumbua wakulima sana they are really disturbed farmers now guys let's think about our chicks we supply our koila chicks the koila chicks we supply you guys you get that when they are coming when they are day one let's begin with day one when these chicks are day one we have already administered uh, we have already administered marex vaccine this marex vaccine we have administered this marex vaccine we have already administered that is to mean that by the end of the day the chicks are coming to your farm when they are very very they are very very with high strong immunity now guys after one week we administer gumboro vaccine what are the precautions which we take before administering gumboro vaccine number one the first precaution you take before you give this gumboro vaccine because it's given in drinking water because in my chat they have written gumboro drinking water so you take gumboro in drinking water so what does it mean this vaccine should be over within one hour after reconstitution has been done so make sure you stuff your birds two to three hours before giving them the vaccine whereby in each hundred doses in each hundred birds we require we require two liters of water so these two liters of water guys if you constitute this vaccine by the end of the day this vaccine will be will be will be enough for these birds within one hour it will be over if, for example now for those people who are having 500 birds how much water will you require it's 10 liters because 2 liters equals 200 birds so if it's 500 birds that is 10, 10 liters of water that is the first precaution you should take the second one don't prepare the vaccine direct sunlight because high temperatures denatures denatures, denatures the vaccines it destroys actually what is in the vaccine so your birds will be taking water and thus they will survive by the grace of god again guys uh, something again apart from that one when handling this vaccine when you're going to pick them go with the thermos a thermo flask that you put the vaccine in plus the ice you go there now you give them to the, to, to the person of the agrovet to give you the vaccine then come home vaccinate the birds in the evening hours or the morning hours avoid them because they them there is a lot of heat there is a lot of sunlight we you will denature those you will denature those you will denature, you will denature by the end of the day that virus in that vaccine so now guys number three number let's say now the first week we have administered gumboro vaccine the second week now guys also we repeat the gumboro vaccine in drinking water and then also now on the third week we will give newcastle newcastle can be given in two types you can give them in eye drops or drinking water if it's drinking water is the same same procedure like the other one like the gumboro thing if it's if it's eye drops drop one drop here another one here you'll buy that small uh, 10 ml uh, 10, 10 ml water for injection in your pharmacy there or in the agrovet they will give you water to reconstitute with the vaccine let's go to the fourth week the fourth week we give out gumboro vaccine so now guys i'm sure you are understanding the fifth week we give again newcastle vaccine now we come to the sixth week now where now we give now the fall box wing stab this wing stab it's done by professionals this it's at the wing region whereby you should assess you should assess you should assess the you should assess the place where have no have no those veins or those arteries which are crossing over the over over the wing so you prick where there are no veins and that one is done by a professional staff and we eugene poultry farm limited we have vets all over the country if you have no vet i can give you one who can help you administer that fall pox vaccine and then because it, 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 it's administered through wing stab or wing jab. So, and then now the final one is fall typhoid. Fall typhoid is done at seven weeks. This fall typhoid, its main sense, it's to control the salmonella part of it in the chicken, in the chick, in the chicken body. So whereby by the end of the day now, this one is administered through intramuscular injection at the Thai region. So at the Thai region, we administer that one through intramuscular injection, whereby we assess whereby when you inject your chicken 
it will never get hurt. Remember not to do these injectables by your own. Because if you do them by your own, you'll fail terribly. Because you might prick a vein, which can cause even some, some hypersensitivity of nerves. And that one can result even into paralysis. So think about that one, guys. And for the vaccination, guys, the other thing which I can add you about vaccination. Some birds are surviving by the grace of God. Because uh, people vaccinate sick birds. People vaccinate uh, without taking precautions. There is something called water stabilizers. This one, we add it in water, whereby now it releases the level of chlorine in water. Thus, your birds will take a good, a good water for vaccination. And then also, water from the wells, water from the dams, water from the, water from the borehole can be stored in those, uh, in, those, in, in, those, in those containers that are closed, whereby through there, they will undergo oxygenation and you remove the chlorine from water. Thank you for watching, guys. There is so many videos in my YouTube channel there. Guys, consider subscribing so that you can be learning all day by day. These are just special tips about vac vaccination. Any question you can ask. Thank you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Google.